Hi guys. Today, way overdue, way overdue. I am showing you some of the birthday mail that I got from my friends and I feel terribly that I have not filmed it until now. I can tell you guys and be honest with you, I had no time. I had no time. Everything has been opened already. I am not the type of person that will wait until I film the video to open it so that the person can see my response. I just am not. I'm too excited. I open it right then and I never know when I'm going to be able to film. So if you want to see my friend mail, my birthday mail from my friends, you know, a half a month late, then stick around. Welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Andy. And I'm really happy that you're here. You guys, I'm so thirsty. I'm so thirsty. Okay, I am going to show these in the order in which I received them. And the first thing that I got was from Kim. From Kim's Happy Place. She will always be Kimmy's boxes to me. Kim, you will always be Kimmy's boxes to me. And here is my card. It is so cute. I love these. They're very Victorian. And then he's adorable. And I opened it from the front, but the front has my address on it. So she gave me some stickers in the card. <gasps> you know what? I didn't notice this until just now. It's a raven. It's a raven. I love the raven. You guys, I love the raven by Edgar Allan Poe. It's my favorite. And if you like it too, I will link in the description box below this past Halloween. I did read The Raven on my channel. I did. Oh, this is a, a moon with roses on it. Roses are Kimmy's thing. There's another raven. A sun and a moon. These are beautiful. A sunflower. Because sunflowers are my thing. Another raven. And a plague doctor. I freaking love that. Uh, this reminds me of Ash. Ash loves that. Ash just got a tattoo with the plague doctor. That's amazing. And it says, happy you day. Today is all yours. Enjoy every bit of it. You deserve it. I hope you have a fabulous birthday. You rock and I love you, girl. And this is my favorite part of the card. P.S. I wanted to get you a Panera gift card, but they were all sold out. For those of you that are new, um, I have been boycotting Panera for the last 20 years. Yeah, they're dead to me. They're dead to me. But she did give me an Amazon gift card, which is amazing. Amazing. Thank you so much, Kim. So, so much. And then she also sent me some sheet masks and some stickers. So I have these sunflower stickers, which are beautiful. You guys, there is a moth on my lights over here and it's humongous. It's freaking humongous. I'm about to flip out. I'm just saying. And then these, these are adorable. These are 3d love them. And then she sent the dermal shop hydrate facial mask, green tea, collagen essence mask. That sounds lovely. And then this is adorable. Dewy tree. Help me snail. Help me snail vitalizing resilience, intense firming mask. I do love me a, a snail mask. And then a vitamin C from Planist. It's a little fox. How cute is he? I wonder if it's a fox mask. Oh, we'll find out, won't we? So thank you so much, Kim. I really appreciate you. And Kim has been such a great friend and great subscriber and just all, all around great person. Um, Kim sings to people on their birthday on her channel. Um, she's just so very giving. When I was on my way to a thousand subscribers, um, she did a giveaway for me to reach a thousand subscribers and she's just such a supportive friend and I really appreciate you. I really, really appreciate you. <sighs> the moth is freaking me out, guys. It's freaking me out. I'm serious. It's humongous. It's humongous. Um, I... I opened my window and put the screen in it. Um, and I think it might have got in in between those times. The next thing I got was from Laura, from Laura the Bargain Hunter. And it's right here. 
Laura also has a channel. Anybody that has a channel will be listed in the description box below because I want you to go and I want you to go love them because I love them. And so this is adorable. It has sunflower, which is my favorite. Again, it has a cute little cupcake. Look, hello kitty, which is her thing. Beautiful butterfly. And then you are my sunshine. You guys, I love Laura. I love Laura. 50 is the new fabulous. 50 is the freedom to be yourself. 50 is intuition and imagination. 50 is dreaming, during, dreaming, daring, and discovering. 50 is fantastic, and so are you. Happy birthday. Hope your day is as fabulous as you are. Love, Laura. And there are some more stickers in here. Sunflowers, a rainbow, another cupcake. Thank you so much, Laura. And she gave me an Ulta gift card, which is awesome. The inside says, doesn't count towards your makeup rehab. Well, thank you. It does not because anything that I buy with a gift card does not count toward my makeup rehab. But that's not all, you guys. She gave me some more stuff. She gave me some more stuff. So here is, it says, Char Charvoria. Charvoria. It's a beautiful box. Beautiful box. And this is so stunning. It is a compact mirror. Look at that, you guys. It is a beautiful rose gold. It opens up. It is gorgeous. It is so, so pretty. And this is very special because it is, it is beautiful. It is beautiful. So thank you for that, Laura. Oh, it says, I forgot. It says, not a day over fabulous. She tells me I'm fabulous all the time. I love her. I love you, Laura. I love you. And then you guys, she gave me this palette. It says, I hope you don't have this already. It has some cool neutrals, so I thought of you. Cool neutrals are my whole ass jam. They are. I love cool neutrals more than any other eyeshadow. That is where I feel the most beautiful. And that is where I feel the most comfortable. And this is the Steve Laurent. And it is Wild Thing is the, I looked it up because I had to put it on my, on my spreadsheet. Um, Wild Thing is the series that these, there were a couple of them. And this one, you know what? I thought this one was the zebra one and it's not. It's a cheetah or leopard one. But anyway, it is beautiful. This is what it looks like. You guys, if, if that's not me, if that's not me all day long, it is absolutely stunning. I love the shades in this. There are one, two, three, four mattes and five shimmers. And they are really pretty. I'm going to swatch a couple of them because I haven't done that yet. Oh, those are so pretty. Look how, sh oh, look how pretty those are. Yes. Yes, you guys, this is my jam. I love it. Thank you, Laura, so much. I love you. And I am so excited that you thought of me when you saw this because it is beautiful. It is definitely me. And this mirror is so stunning. I love rose gold, you guys. I'm not a gold person. I love rose gold. I think it's so pretty. So thank you again, Laura. I really appreciate you. And thank you for the gift card. That will definitely be put to good use. It will. It will. Okay. So the next things I got was from, uh, were from Tina H beautiful journey. She also has a channel and her birthday just happens to be just a couple of days after my birthday. So that's exciting. And actually Laura's birthday is 10 days after nine days after mine. So we're all three Tauruses, which is very special. Um, but anyway, Tina sent me these beautiful earrings. I love them so much. They are wooden and I think wooden earrings are so fun because you can just tell that someone made them. Handmade is amazing. But look at them. Oh, look at them. They're sunflowers and they're wooden and they're very lightweight. Like they don't feel like anything, but aren't those so beautiful? They're so special. Oh my gosh. I love them. And the detail, 
I don't know if they're hand painted or what, but there's a lot of detail in them. They're so pretty. I love them. I love them. I was so excited when I opened this. And then she sent me this, which is going in my background right over, right there. Um, that right there she gave me last year for my birthday, that Betty Boop tumbler that has my name on it. So this one is going right there. And it is a cut glass sunflower. Isn't that beautiful? I love this so much. I got very emotional. So there's a reason that I love sunflowers so much. And I have a lot of new subscribers, so welcome. Um, so I want to let you know why I love sunflowers so much. And then older subscribers that maybe don't know either. Um, sunflowers are very, very important to me, very special to me because uh, my dad, my dad passed in July of 2020. And it was, he had been ill, but it was still a big shock to us. And I was very close with my dad. My dad loved sunflowers. He tended to his sunflowers all summer long. Um, he had a little sunflower garden out off the back door and they were huge and beautiful. And he tended to those all summer long. He would then take the seeds and he would put them in the bird feeders. So the sunflower seeds out of the middle, he would put them in the bird feeders. So sunflowers are very important to me. They're very special to me. I love sunflowers. Plus they're very happy. They're very happy flowers and they make me very happy. So I got very emotional um, when I saw this because it's absolutely beautiful. So it is now back there in my background where everyone can see it. The next thing I got was from a subscriber. And her name is Janet and Janet is such, oh, I just love her. Uh, Janet is such a, an amazing subscriber to a lot of us. She's very supportive. She's hilarious. She's funny. We talk on Instagram quite a bit and she's just, she has my heart. I just love her. I just absolutely love her. And she sent me a birthday gift and she sent me a Betty Boop backpack. It is a backpack. I have been wanting a small backpack to use instead of a handbag because there are things that I take to work that I don't really need in my handbag, like um, ibuprofen and Tums and, you know, things that you would need it were up for an 11 hour night. And so I really wanted a small, and I was looking on Temu for a small backpack and this came in the mail. Look at her. Look at her. Oh. I just love this so much. I actually squealed when I opened it. I squealed. I did. I squealed because she's adorable. And I mean, obviously I am a Betty Boop fanatic. I am. I'm not a huge cartoon character person except for Betty Boop and Batman. And Batman, actually, he's like a real person. He's not a cartoon. He's a real person. Just saying. Okay, the last bit of birthday mail I got is from Cece from Cece's Trial Size Life, also panning for goals. She has two channels. Um, I enjoy panning so much, and I love watching Cece's panning videos. Um, she does a lot of fun, fun, fun um, projects. And then on Cece's Trial Size Life, she does some unboxings. She does like uh, Sephora's favorites, unboxing those. And yeah, she has a lot of great content. I enjoy her so much and I am so excited that Cece and I have gotten a lot closer um, over like last year, the end of last year and this year because we've been talking about projects and we're doing a project together, our project for uses. And so, yes. So look at this sticker. It's so cute. Look at those kids. They're so cute. And then there's a sunflower. Oh, and she drew a sun little and she drew a little sunflower. And this says good vibes. Look at this card. It is so cute. And it says party animal. Hope your birthday is as bright and fun, is bright and fun in every way. Dear Andy, happy birthday. I hope you have the most wonderful day. Although the enclosed gift doesn't say it anywhere, its name is Nevermore. 
I know it belonged to you when I saw that. Love you, Cece. Now, this was wrapped beautifully, and I'm going to put a picture right here of how it was wrapped. Um, but as I've said before, I open things not on camera, but behind the scenes because I'm a child and I need to open them. She gave me the Spoiled Lips Volume 19 Nevermore palette. First of all, this artwork. What did I just say? I love ravens. I love ravens. And the fact that it's Nevermore. Now I have a story about this. And I don't know how Cece does this, but she's like psychic. I had a palette that I really liked that I gave to my friend last year. I made a birthday box, like a, um, a mystery box for my best friend for her birthday. And I took palettes that I had not used and that, um, I wasn't sure if I was going to use. And I really thought very hard about that and about the, the palettes I put in there. So one of the palettes that I put on in was the Lorella Golden State. And I put that in my friend's box. And then Cece sends me the Lorella Golden State palette. And I was so excited. I was so, so excited because um, I regretted it. I regretted giving that away because it has such a beautiful color story and a really nice formula. I'm not a huge fan of all Lorella palettes. Um, the Golden State is actually the last one I have in my collection and I will keep it. Uh, because it's beautiful. It has a couple of really shifty shades and I love it. So CC somehow knew that I needed that back in my life. Fast forward. I bought this palette. Um, one of it very early on in my, very early on in my YouTube journey. And um, begrudgingly, I will put a link to the video up here. Uh, I did a look with this palette and I love this palette. I love this palette. I'm going to open it and show you guys. Um, it is so pretty. Well, I had to get rid of mine. I had to get rid of it. Um, there was something wrong with it and it broke my heart. I actually got rid of it, uh, July or August of last year, uh, because I noticed there was something wrong with it when I did my palette declutter. Um, even though I didn't declutter it in there, it was afterwards. I was so bummed because I love spoiled lips formula. I do. Matter of fact, Ash has given, Ash has given me some of their old ones that they had, but this, I watched Kristen from beauty beat down use this palette. And I was like, I need that. I need that palette. It is so pretty. You guys, first of all, look at this, look at this and look at this artwork. I love this palette. The mattes are so blendable and they are very pigmented and I love it so much. It has, this is a shimmer, this is a shimmer, and this is a shimmer. And they are so pretty. We're going to swatch them. Look at those. Oh. They're so pretty. You guys, I love this palette so much. And when I opened this, I squealed. I did. I squealed. I was so excited because I was so disappointed and upset that I had to get rid of it. So thank you so much, Cece. I appreciate so much this palette and the artwork is gorgeous. I had actually joked that I was going to cut the box and I was going to put this in a frame because it's a raven and it's gorgeous. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Now, I also got something from Amazon. This is from Mary Catherine Loves Cats. I love Mary. I love Mary. I adore Mary. I have probably been friends with Mary longer than anyone else on YouTube. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I have. Uh, Mary is very special. She has a beautiful heart. She's very giving. She's very loving. But anyway... She told me that I was going to get something and so I opened it up and some of, a lot of them are gone. They're all flavored coffee, flavored, flavored coffee pods. Now I am a coffee, mm, I love coffee so much and 
she got me one last year as well that had a mixture of regular and flavored. And honestly, it's almost gone. Like I only have a couple of pods left and oh, I have had, I don't know how many I've, I've had out of here, but they are all so good. I think what started this whole coffee thing was I got a coffee advent calendar, uh, not this past Christmas, but the Christmas before I did Vlogmas and I did every day I opened up and it was a 24 day advent calendar. And every day I opened it up, I brewed my coffee and I tried it. I tasted it. And most of them were really good, but there were a couple duds in there too. But after that, to let the world know how much I love coffee, um, Mary sent me the, the thing for my birthday last year. And then this year I got this. Oh my gosh. Some of these, some of these, I'll just tell you, there's a mystery one, which I'm really excited about. But there's a Sunday coffee. This is Vanilla Swirl, Vanilla Dream, um, Brooklyn Black and White Cookie. It is chocolate vanilla flavored. Now, Brooklyn also makes my favorite coffee, which is called Subway Cinnamon. And I can't find that. I can't find like the box of it anywhere. So that's what led me to start putting cinnamon in my coffee like, I don't know, two years ago or whatever. And last year, Kim sent me some Vietnamese cinnamon from Penzi's. So that is actually almost gone. But I found that, that we have a Penzi's here in Columbus and Dion from Dion Loves Makeup gave me a gift card. So that's, that's going to buy cinnamon when I, when I need it. Um, but yeah, uh, that was one of my favorite coffees I've ever had. Founder's favorite from Coldstone. There's quite a few Coldstones in here, or there were. They're not anymore because I drank them. Uh, Mucho Gusto, Cafe Con, I can't read it. Cafe Con Sabor, Dolce La Leche. Here is an Andes Mint flavored coffee. Red Velvet Cupcake, also from Brooklyn also from Brooklyn. Oh, fudge. Like you guys. Oh, there's one in here. Um, sl it's from Slice. It's blueberry pie. There's several from Slice. There's a pecan pie in here and there's a pumpkin that I'm going to try to keep for fall, but I may not be able to because I love pumpkin ice cream. I do. Um, Friendly's peppermint stick. There were several from Friendly's too. So that is exciting. Um, I, I have loved every single one I've tried from here. There's only one in here that I told Anthony he could drink, and that was the coconut rum one because I'm not a coconut fan. But all the rest of them are off limits. They're off limits. He's not allowed. He's not allowed to have them. So, yeah. So, thank you, Cece, Tina, Mary, Laura, Kim, Janet. Thank you guys so much for my presence. I love all of you. I really appreciate you and thankful that, um, that I've gotten to know you and that you're in my life. You guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you being here. And until our next adventure, everyone have a great day and we'll see you later.